Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. We begin with breaking news. Premier John Horgan announcing just a short time ago he's having surgery Friday after doctors found a growth in his throat. CDB's Binder Sajjan joins us live with more. So Binder, the biopsy will reveal what Premier John Horgan is dealing with here. And John Horgan says that he has a lump in his neck, which is benign, but there is a growth in his throat, and that is the concern. So he says that he will be undergoing surgery to figure out exactly what that is. He is reassuring British Columbians that he has faith in the healthcare system and he believes he will make a full recovery. Now, Horgan is also appointing Mike Farnworth, the public safety minister, as deputy premier. And that position was previously empty. Horgan is also making it clear that he isn't stepping aside from his duties. This is a backup move just in case it's needed. John Horgan has in the past talked about his battle with bladder cancer. Now, he did not use the C word today. He did say he's gone through a, quote, health issue like this. And he says he's sharing this information because Victoria is a small town and he thought word would get out. He wanted to assure British Columbians he's in good hands and this is treatable. I felt that it was important that I uh, speak candidly to British Columbians through you uh, to say that this is uh, something that everyone experiences. Uh, this touches families wherever they may be, whatever their socioeconomic situation, whatever their, their religious beliefs, whatever their political persuasion. Uh, it's events like this that remind us of our humanity. And so John Horgan says once the surgery reveals what he is dealing with, that information will be made public. Binder, he did mention that this is the type of news that touches all families. Tough health news from the Premier. Of course, not often he has to share such personal updates. What was his tone today revealing this troubling diagnosis? Yeah, I mean, Scott, you could certainly feel the gravity of the moment, but kind of true to his form, as he walked away, he said, uh, live long and prosper people. Of course, the premier is a huge Trekkie. Um, and at one point, he even joked that uh, he was most concerned about his ability to talk. And he thought that that would be a bit of a reprieve for his wife, Ellie. Yeah, we appreciated his candor here in the newsroom. We all a bit of a chuckle when he said live long and prosper. So Bender, politics aside, for you and your colleagues who have worked so closely with the Premier and so many politicians at the legislature, how is this news landing today in Victoria? As he said, and as you said, it, uh, it is a small town, which is why he wanted to share this. Yeah, and so I think there is, you know, certainly a sense of, of shock. It is a reminder, as the Premier said, about the humanity in all of us. Like, listen, uh, you know, we have our jobs to do. We hold the government to account. The government does, uh, forms policies. The opposition also criticizes them and holds them to account. Um, Liberal leader Shirley Bond canceled a media availability that she had scheduled for today uh, in re out of respect for this announcement today and then later sent her well wishes to the Premier. Uh, but of course, everyone here is just hoping that the premier gets well. Of course, it is a reminder that a lot of British Columbians go through health news like this. And the premier is again asking people, if you have any concerns, get it checked out. Scott? Yeah, definitely good advice from the premier as he undergoes uh, this uh, health update. Uh, thank you, Binder, for your uh, thoughts on this. Uh, we will, of course, continue to follow this tonight on CTV News at 5 and 6 o'clock and online at ctvnewsvancouver.ca. We all wish the Premier a speedy recovery.